Hello everyone and Merry Christmas and welcome to my 12 days of cookies and holiday treats. Today I'm sharing with you a special cookie. This is called the forgotten cookie. This is an old school cookie and if you saw my Christmas vlog yesterday, you know these are the egg whites, the two egg whites that we had left over from those cookies. So let's get to it. So, so far in my mixing bowl, I have put our two egg whites that we had at room temperature. I'm also putting in some cream of tartar. You need cream of tartar to help to stabilize your egg whites when we're going to whip them. And that was eighth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And we're also going to put in an eighth of a teaspoon of regular table salt. Now, once I have those in my mixing bowl, I'm going to go ahead and get my mixer going. We want to go on and whip these egg whites when they become nice and frothy and they start to uh, peak a bit is when we're going to add some of the rest of the ingredients. And as you see, this is what you want your egg whites, your meringue to look like. These cookies, like I was saying, is an old school cookie. They're called forgotten cookies and I'll share with you why they're called forgotten cookies. These are going to be some of the simplest cookies that you will ever make. Now when our egg whites have been whipping for a while and these cookies just take a tiny bit of patience when it comes time to whip, the, whip your egg whites because you do want them to be nice and frothy just like they are there. Now when your egg whites have whipped and the egg whites are have that nice meringue and that's what we're making is a meringue when they look like this is when we start to add in our sugar and we're putting in regular granulated sugar and we're putting in two-thirds of a cup of sugar when you're putting in your sugar you want to put it in gradually not all at once so I put in a third a cup of sugar slowly put that in and now I'm putting in slowly this other third a cup of sugar to total two-thirds a cup of sugar now in the description box below I will have a list of the ingredients that you need to make these old school forgotten cookies and so you just let your meringue continue to whip and you slowly add in the sugar you want your mixer to continue to blend because what we're doing is you want to go on and make sure that the sugar has totally dissolved into the meringue so you want to make sure that you let it go for another minute and this is what you want it to look like you want your meringue to have this kind of texture and look to it now next what we're going to do is we're going to add in some vanilla extract and we're going to be putting in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract and you can also use almond extract if you prefer now once we have our vanilla extract in there I use my spatula and we're just going to go ahead and slowly blend in that vanilla Next, we're going to put in some semi-sweet chocolate chips and I put in one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and we're going to put in a half a cup of chopped pecans. Now, you can also use chopped walnuts if you prefer. You can use one cup of the chopped nuts and a half a cup of the semi-sweet. You can use just all nuts or you can use all semi-sweet chocolate chips so you can kind of mix around um, the portion sizes as far as the nuts and the semi-sweet chocolate chips based on your liking but in the description box below will be exactly what I used which was one cup of the semi-sweet and half a cup of the chopped pecans now on your cookie sheet you want to line it with parchment paper or either you want to make sure that you uh, spray or grease your cookie sheet and then you want to drop them by teaspoonfuls. So I'm just using two small spoons to go ahead and drop my cookies on my cookie sheet. And these cookies do not have to have a perfect shape. And actually the beauty of these cookies is just their varying shapes and their varying sizes, how they end up uh, landing on the cookie sheet and just how they end up forming. Now, these are going to make about two to three dozen of cookies. Now, also something as a little tip is when you're making your meringue, make sure that there's uh, no um, water or anything that's in your bowl. Make sure your bowl is 100%. It's nice, clean, and dry. And so that way you won't have any problems with whipping up your meringue. Also, when you're um, laying your cookies out, what I do is I scoop some into the spoon and then I use the other spoon to gently push the meringue filling off of the spoon and onto my cookie sheet. 
But we have used all of our meringue filling for our cookies. Now it is time for us to put our cookies in the oven. So I have my oven on 400 degrees. I put our cookies in. We're going to close our oven and immediately turn our oven off. This is why these are called forgotten cookies. It is about 9.30 in the evening. We're going to leave our oven closed overnight and we are going to come back and check on our cookies in the morning. Well, y'all, our cookies have sat in our oven overnight, slowly cooking up in that turned off oven. And this is the results, these wonderful forgotten cookies. Well, let's go on and give them a try. They are nice. The meringue has puffed up around all that wonderful chocolate chips and the pecans. Look at that. Go ahead and take a bite. Now I'm going to take my bite. Mmm. You guys, oh my gosh, this cookie is like a cross between a candy and a cookie. I tell you, the meringue, it is just like, it's a little crunchy on the outside. It's soft in the inside. The chocolate chips, the pecans, oh my goodness. And did I mention that these cookies are gluten-free? Well, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I invite you to hit that subscribe button. It's free. If you like this video, don't forget to show it some love. Give it a thumbs up. Click share, share this video with a friend or family, and come back and visit me again tomorrow. Remember, it's always good when Devon is cooking for the family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.